Hey, welcome back to the Formerly Known Show. Today's segment, we got some movie facts about Sam Raimi's Evil Dead series and the remake of Evil Dead. So to start out, we got 1983's Evil Dead. At one point, Bruce Campbell's shirt in the film was so saturated with fake blood that after drying it by the fire, the shirt became solidified and broke when he tried to put it on. A cameraman slipped during filming, smashing his head into Bruce Campbell's face and knocking out several of his teeth. Sam Raimi originally wanted to name the film Book of the Dead, but producer Irvin Sharp Shapiro changed the title to The Evil Dead for fear that kids would be turned off seeing the movie with a literary reference. During the scene where Ash is about to cut up his girlfriend with a chainsaw, Bruce Campbell had to use a real chainsaw and hold it up to the actress's chest. You can see her pulse racing on the close-up. Bruce Campbell twisted his ankle on a route while running down a steep hill, and Sam Raimi and Rob Tapper decided to tease him by poking it with sticks, thus causing Campbell to have an obvious limp in some scenes. Next up, from 1987, Evil Dead 2. The actors were completely blind when they had to wear opaque contact lenses when they were playing possessed versions of their characters. Ash's chainsaw switches hands in one scene. This is because Sam Raimi decided Ash should walk the opposite way across the room in the scene, so he flipped the negative. Freddy Krueger's glove can be seen hanging above the door of the tool shed. This was a this was a response to the use of the Evil Dead on a TV in A Nightmare on Elm Street. Often considered to be a remake of the first film, that's not accurate. The rights to show scenes from the original could not be obtained to recap what happened, so the beginning was remade to explain how Ash got to the cabin. The rat seen on the stairs over Bruce Campbell's shoulder while he's locked in the cellar was nicknamed Senor Cajones by the crew. Bruce Campbell's favorite film of the trilogy. Next up from 1993, Army of Darkness. Sam Raimi originally wanted to call the film The Medieval Dead, but Universal Pictures refused. Then he wanted to call it Evil Dead 3, Army of Darkness. The studio wanted the film to stand on its own, so they went with Army of Darkness. Released in Japan as Captain Supermarket. To make the chainsaw appear as if it was always running, tobacco smoke was pumped through a tube that was slid up his pant leg, up his shirt, and into the chainsaw. In the original draft, Ash lost an eye. During the scene where Ash is being pelted with rocks, fake rocks were used. But to get a more realistic reaction out of Bruce Campbell, and partially as a prank, Sam Raimi pelted him with potatoes. And last up, from 2013, the remake, Evil Dead. This film used 70,000 gallons of fake blood. 50 gallons were used for the final scene alone. The original used 200 to 300 gallons. 95% of the film was shot in order. The level of blood and violence gets worse as the film progresses. So by shooting in order, they can throw blood on the walls and not worry about it messing up another shot when it needed to be cleaned up. After the credits, you can see a silhouette of Bruce Campbell saying, Groovy. If you take the first letter of the main characters, it spells out Demon. David, Eric, Mia, Olivia, and Natalie. So there you have some interesting facts about Sam Raimi's Evil Dead franchise and the remake Evil Dead.